You're listening to the Tony Conley Morning Show on 1320 WILS, 1320WILS.com. Is it time to rethink the American dream long considered the quickest way to build wealth and to encourage saving home ownership has been that, but it's been steadily declining since 2004 and fell to a rate of 64.4% in October. That's the lowest level in 19 years. Americans is 35 years and younger. They're not buying. They're renting. Let's learn a little bit more about this from Mark Bloom, who's a real estate expert for 1320 WLS and Fox News Radio. Mark, how are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm doing very well. You and I have talked about this when we had the housing bust. Uh, a lot of folks lost their homes. A lot of folks could not afford to get into their homes. It's tougher to, to get into a home now. And millennials uh, aren't buying as much as we have in the past. Uh, enlighten us about this. Uh, well, you know, I think it's there's a, still a little bit of a hangover. Obviously, that's going to be part of it from, from what just happened, you know, once bitten, twice shy. I think the, the, as you go further down the road of life, not to sound uh, philosophical, you, know, you do realize that there are supply-demand metric in, in place that uh, particularly with real estate is you can't really fight it. That said, there are a lot of cities and there are a lot of situations for younger people given the economics of the hiring market today that make it in many cases better for them to rent than it is to buy, at least in the short run. All right, Mark, so how do we know if we should rent or if we should buy? When people are trying to make that decision, what do they need to think about? I mean, if you're asking me, I'll give you a couple perspectives. You know, I run a brokerage network with real TV sell investment properties. We are in major metropolitan areas. I think right now is always a good time to buy because in 15 or 20 years, that supply-demand metric is going to make it so that that property almost inevitably has to be worth more than it is today. That said, for a lot of the situation we're talking about, your millennials, flexibility to find a job right now becomes a big factor, I think, for a lot of these people, and is a large part of why they are choosing to rent versus buy, along with the fact that it is difficult to qualify for a mortgage. A lot of these people are coming out of uh, college with heavy debt, student debt. They're not necessarily able to qualify for the the best mortgage rates available, and, um, you know, the rents in the last three, four, five, six, seven years since 2007-ish have been going up. Um, we are starting to see them, you know, plateau and, and even come down in some places. So rule of thumb, if you can rent for less than 1% of what that property would sell for, then it is probably in your best interest to rent economically speaking, for the short term. We've been talking with Mark Bloom, who's a real estate expert for 1320 WILS and Fox News Radio. Mark, thanks so much. No, my pleasure. And thank you for listening to the Tony Conley Morning Show and more compelling talk radio, 1320 WILS and 1320WILS.com.